These are the Tone Rider Overwound HSS pickup set. So you've got two single coils in the neck and middle. These are the classic blues pickups. The neck has a resistance of 6.3K and the middle has a resistance of 6.4K, but it's reverse wound and reverse polarity. So in positions two and four, you'll get all that nice phase cancellation. All Alnico 5. The bridge. The bridge is a Birmingham humbucker and that has a resistance of 8.7K. Again, it's got Alnico 5 magnets. And I'm going to compare this to the stock pickups that came in this. This is a Sire S3. It's about £370, this guitar. I've refinished it so it looks nothing like it originally did. And the stock pickups, they look to me like they've got ceramic magnets on the back, just a big bar magnet. I'm going to do a shootout between the Tone Riders and the original pickups and you tell me what you think. <laughs> I found the difference night and day when I listened back to that comparison and for me the Tone Riders just absolutely stood out, you just get so much more clarity. You may find that they've got a bit too much treble in some instances but there's always a tone knob and what I found with that is if something sounds too trebly you can dial it back but if it doesn't have enough high end you can't add it in. I know you're going to say you can turn the treble up on the amp but it's harder to add something in that isn't there and it's easier to remove something that is there and as soon as you turn the volume down your guitar you will lose some of the high end anyway. <laughs> So it's far better to have that jangly strat tone than not be able to get it. So I think a reason for that is these are properly made pickups. So we'll start with the single coils. Now they're not just, normally it's just plastic bobbins. Like the ones I took out of this and a lot of the cheap pickups you'll get, they're just a plastic bobbin with the uh, magnet pressed through it. And the, when, you wind, when the copper's wound round that, it doesn't come that close to the pickup. And I was talking to the guy at Monty's Guitars about this. The closer the copper is to the magnet, the more high-end you get. These are proper flat work, but the magnets are set within that, and then the wire pretty much touches those magnets, so it's a lot closer. Also, it's got pushback cloth wire, which was so nice to work with, and I've worked with a few different types of that. Some of it's not that good. This stuff is absolutely wonderful. I've put this in a couple of guitars, because uh, we've done a few shootouts with these. Really easy to wire, it's just really, really well made. Then the humbucker, uh, it's got obviously a chrome cover and the so the cover and the base plate are both nickel silver Which means if you've seen my tone test I put a link in the description and a box at the end with the tone tests If you've got nickel silver on the back and the front the pickup just has all the high end when it's made with brass It sounds muffled. It's like putting your hand over your mouth. It sounds a lot worse um, And in the tone test videos, it really shows that so it's a properly made humbucker that all the high-end humbuckers are going to be made like that and there was this time in the 80s a lot of manufacturers went to brass and that's when everyone took their um, pickup covers off because all the high end went. They sound amazing and they're a hundred quid. <laughs> that is so cheap. I've tried a few Tone Rider pickups and every time they sounded amazing. Uh, the Telecaster ones, I think it was the hot set, they sounded great. Uh, in my friend's Epiphone Les Paul, he's got a, a hot and a vintage P90. Watch that video, that sounds amazing. But the most amazing one is this, the Tone Rider Alnico 2 Classics. Now watch this video because these, we shot these out against a Gibson Les Paul, a full fat Gibson Les Paul standard, and a guitar that I made that has like, it's the most expensive thing I've ever owned. Well, maybe cars and houses don't count, but item. And <laughs> these absolutely blew it away. 
absolutely blew all of them away. Every comment's like, yeah, these are the best. 